going on? Rob Fish here from BikeBandit.com with Tyler from Memphis Shades. Please join us to discuss the Memphis Shades Drop Top Fats. What's going on? Rob Fish here, BikeBandit.com with Tyler from Memphis Shades. Welcome back. This, my friends, is the Memphis Shades Drop Top Fats. Lot going on here. I'm very, very familiar, Tyler, with the fats model, but now you got the drop top. And again, this is your baby, so I'm just going to let you take over from here because this is awesome. Yeah, this is uh, one of our most revolutionary products that we've ever come out with. Uh, you know, you said that, you know, it's even in the name. It's fats, you know, and it's, it, that's kind of how it starts life. You know, it's got the same stainless steel banding and hardware. Uh, the same overall width, 22 inches wide, and that's pretty much where it ends. Um, and then we use a lot of our new technology to really make this the most technolo technologically advanced um, traditional style windshield on the market today. Um, starting at the bottom and working to the top, the first thing you're going to notice, different from the fats, is the fact that we have uh, the, uh, a spoiler type edge at the bottom of the shield. That's going to uh, create a little bit of a spoiler effect and really kick out the wind a little bit better for the rider uh, to get that pushed out, get that air pocket more pushed out around the rider. Let me actually and turn that, not to interrupt really quick, but I want everybody to kind of see that flare because I know for, let's say, the FLHs, you make those lower deflectors and that really right. enhances that pocket, right. you know, which reduces the buffeting on the lower side of the mm -hmm. helmet where you get the wiggle. So to incorporate that into the shield already I mean that's right on the money I just wanted to make sure everybody got that because a lot of you know a lot of what we're doing is we're bringing you a video about the intricacies of the product so sorry to interrupt Again, <laughs> yeah, hey, you no. know it's just cool stuff yeah so and then you know we move up past the stainless steel banding which is just like our fats and then we move up to the most obvious thing on the shield and that's our dual shield design this is what we call the venturi wing and we call it that because what happens is it actually creates a venturi effect between the two surfaces okay so as you're riding down the road um, the air hits this shield here and in a way the Venturi effect what it's doing in a way it's it's compressing and actually speeding up the airflow so as this is setting on your motorcycle it, it is because the hardware kit it is angle adjustable so you're gonna have you're gonna use the angle of the windshield and the increased uh, wind velocity between the two surfaces to really help shoot it up over the rider's head okay so you're able to in effect run a much lower shield than you typically would because of the venturi effect we see about a three inch boost in wind protection wow. so right off the bat you're able to run a three inch lower shield than you typically would However, we didn't stop there. We actually made the Venturi wing adjustable. Now, there are two plastic knobs on the back, so you can adjust this without tools, although you don't need to do it while you're riding. Right. But, you know, pull, <laughs> over, pull over, and uh, you can loosen the knobs up, and I'll show you here how much it can adjust. So there's an inch and, and a quarter of adjustment there with no tools. Okay. And then to step it up just a little bit more, what we've done, the Allen head screws on the shield are also removable. And when I'm just going to lift this up real quick, you can see there's additional mounting holes here to mount the wing in different places. So you're still able to adjust it with no tools, but in any of these other three holes, you can, you can also adjust it there. So that's an inch and three, three quarters of adjustment you get from that. So overall, this shield is able to adjust three inches. That's huge. I mean, you know, I mean, like you're saying, hey, one, you can, with that three inch deflection from the spoiler kicking it up and over, you can run a lower shield. Yes. You can still get that, you know, kind of that pocket, if you will, and, and get the turbulence, if you will, over you so you don't get that head bob. But low, a lower shield just, just looks cooler than having oh, yeah. this massive monster just to get right. a little pocket. Yeah, and you know, with the Venturi effect, it, it really, it not only pushes the air up over the rider, but it really, really smooths out that airflow. Okay. And what we've seen in our CFD testing is the airflow, um, after it leaves the shield, can kind of get wavy. But using the Venturi wing, it really straightens out that airflow. And shooting it up over the rider, it also makes the, the air that the rider could feel a lot smoother. Um, now, we do offer this in several different sizes. Even though it is adjustable, we sell it in several different sizes. So no matter your height or the bike you're riding, you're still going to get the proper fit. 
Okay. Um, so we offer this in a 1316 model, uh, which means at the lowest setting, with the shield all the way slid down and the bolt in the lowest position is 13 inches tall, with everything in the utmost position is 16 inches tall. Okay. Now that measurement's taken from the top of the headlight cut out to the top of the tallest surface. Right. And then we also have the 1518 and the 1720. So okay. all of our, um, in the drop top lineup, they kind of overlap each other, and that's because of the adjustability range. Right. Um, uh, there is a little bit of difference when you are sizing somebody up. With a traditional windshield, we tell everybody, you want to get the shield pretty much to the top of their nose. Um, so what you want to do, you want to set on that motorcycle. And uh, it's kind of a two-person operation here. But you want to set on that motorcycle and um, kind of measure up from the headlight where the tip of your nose is. You get that measurement. And, um, and with the drop top, I tell people you can take that measurement and subtract two inches from that. And then that will get you right in the middle of the adjustability range. So in the middle setting, it's going to be the amount of wind protection you need. You can drop it just a little bit for cooler looks or maybe, you know, super low speed riding. You know, if you're just around town, 40, 50 mile an hour, it's going to provide you with plenty of protection. Sure. And then, but you still have the additional coverage for those long touring rides or maybe some bad weather or something like that, you can still raise it up. And so that's how I like to size people up. I know personally for, for myself, uh, when we were in development of this, I took it for a ride and typically I would use a 19 inch shield. So just to, to test the versatility of the product, we put the smallest one on. So 13 inches tall, everything in the lowest position, I'm looking so far over it, I really don't even notice there's a shield on the motorcycle. Um, and up to about 50 miles an hour, it gave me all the protection that I needed. And then what we were able to do is put it in the tallest setting, which was 16 inches, which three inches shorter than I would typically run. Right. And it actually gave me better protection riding the motorcycle than that big 19 inch shield did. So you're able to run a lower shield, you get the adjustability, and you get to have the most technologically advanced windshield on the, mo on the market on your motorcycle. This thing's super slick. The color scheme is available in the full rainbow, or what do we got? No, it's not. Um, right now we have this in a uh, light smoke okay. and a dark smoke okay. is what we've got right now. Yeah. Okay. And we have two different band colors. We have the stainless steel and we also have the black bands. Okay, very cool. And this always comes in a clear? No, this is actually our ghost color. This okay. is our light, that light smoke I mentioned, that's our ghost color. Okay. This thing's super slick. I just want to make sure that everybody sees the back of this as well. I mean, just that stainless steel hardware is, is a massive statement, but just the, you know, I mean, even if while you're, you know, obviously pull over, you don't need to, you know, take your gloves off and whatnot to, you know, maneuver it up and grab your extra little pr wind protection there. Mm -hmm. This thing is rad. Yeah, one of the things I noticed, one of the neatest things I noticed, uh, typically when I ride, I wear a full face helmet. And uh, so the big thing is when you go riding, you're going to have bugs all over your, yeah. your visor. <laughs> yeah. One of the <laughs> coolest things I'd ever seen, I went riding all afternoon and I got home and there was not one bug on my face shield. And I thought that was so neat that the, uh, if you will, the curtain of air coming off this windshield really deflected. Uh, the bugs from even be able to hit my face shield, even though the shield was, was lower. about the same height as my chin bar on the helmet was. So it, was a, it has a really, really great effect, not only in wind protection, but I guess also in bug protection too. Sure. I mean, that's, that's I mean, again, I mean, that's, that's a huge thing is you can, you can look good, yet you can have the comfort factor. And, and I mean, you know, I, I look at a lot of the guys on the full committed sport bike, and I wonder if they just ride from chiropractor to chiropractor, <laughs> you know, sleeping on the tank like that. But, you know, hey, if you can get the best of both worlds, and like everything Memphis Shades, made in the U.S. Yep. Built, now, designed, manufactured, everything right in one spot. And what is the material of the shield itself? Uh, this is a Lucite brand acrylic, and okay. that's what all of our shields are made out of. Of course, you have the stainless steel bands, and then it'll have stainless steel mounting hardware, too. Um, speaking of the mounting hardware, any motorcycle that we make a Memphis Shades FATS kit for, um, you can put a drop top on. It's the exact same hardware kit as the FATS and the SLIMS. So even if you have a Memphis Shades windshield on your bike now, you can use those same mounting plates. If you have a FATS or a SLIMS on your bike now, you can use the same mounting plates and just buy the drop top windshield. No new hardware. No new required. hardware. Right. So really quick recap. Light smoke, dark smoke. You have essentially three different sizes. That 1315, the 1517, and then the 1719. 
That's correct? No. No. You Sorry. were close. Uh, you were hey, close. I've hit my head Thir a lot, man. 13, 16. Okay, that's right. It's three inches. Yeah. Sorry. 15, 18. Okay. And then 17, 20. And then, but besides, uh, you know, a, a customer is going to have to choose their height, measure with your buddy, and if you don't have already a Memphis Shades shield, mm -hmm. the, essentially the shield is universal. Right. But the, the fitment kits, the mounting, those mounting are bike kit. specific. Right. And no matter if you're okay. riding a, a Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, Yamaha, uh, Harley, any of those brands, we make kits. Uh, we've got Victory kits also. We've got kits awesome. uh, to put a drop top on your motorcycle. This is awesome. This is, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm always impressed. But to see the technology and the innovation and go, oh, how much further can you really take wind protection? Yeah. You can take it a lot further with both style and protection, and this is huge. Appreciate you swinging by, helping us out. No problem. Bringing us up to speed. Again, Rob Fish for Tyler, Memphis Shades. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the ride. Thanks for joining us. Well, there you have it. From Memphis Shades, that's the drop top on the fats. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Make it easy for you. Go ahead. If you know you want it, put it in your shopping cart. It's as easy as that. If you have questions, whatever the question is, please never hesitate. You can call us. You can send us an email. You can click on the little help tab. That goes straight to the sales department, and they'll help you out. Like I said, it's as easy as that. I'm Rob Fish. We're BikeBandit.com. We love you. You should like us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Do me two favors, would you? One, subscribe to our YouTube channel and bookmark us in your favorites. Enjoy the ride, enjoy your new shield system, and we'll see you soon.